Hi, I'm Karen Glenda from Scandinavian Today. The holidays are just around the corner and because of that I am going to make a cake, an almond cranberry cake. I think it's perfect for the holidays. Of course, if you don't have cranberries, I suggest you use any kind of fruit you prefer. It could be raspberries, strawberries, or blueberries. I think all of them would make a great cake. And of course, the almond paste makes it so delicious. So let's start making it. So here you see all the ingredients for my almond cranberry cake. I have two cups of flour, one cup of sugar, 16 tablespoons or the same as eight ounces of butter, one and a half cup of chopped cranberries, I have four large eggs, eight ounces of almond paste, then I have half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, I have a tablespoon of shredded orange rind, and then I have half a cup of orange juice. So let's start mixing it some of the ingredients. So the first step is to mix the almond paste with the orange juice and the orange peel as well. And then I'll add a little bit of sugar and I'll keep adding sugar and mixing it up before the other ingredients are getting in there. And I'm now adding the butter, which I chopped up. Just half of it, and I'll mix that in. And here comes the second half of the rest of the butter. And now I'm going to add the eggs one by one. Here's the first one. the baking powder as well as the baking soda to the flour and mix it up well before I add it to the rest of the ingredients. And I'll add a little by little. And of course the final step is to add all the cranberries. So we're just about ready to bake it. I have the oven set at 350 and it should not take too long to bake it. And let me show you my beautiful Christmas wreath pan. I think it's beautiful and my daughter gave it to me. I'm very happy about it and of course I buttered it and sprinkled it with flour inside before I put in the batter. And I now add the batter to the pan and I can bake it. And it should take about, I would say about 40 to 50 minutes. So here it's all filled up and I put it now in the oven, which was set at 350. And I will check on it after, I would say 45 minutes to 50 minutes. It could actually take up to 60 minutes. You want to insert a toothpick to check out, make sure it's all baked. Recently, I went to visit my daughter Heidi and she took me out in the country to show me where they grow cranberries. And I had never seen this before. I was really surprised how big the whole area was and how many people there were and we really enjoyed the visit and of course that inspired me to bake a cranberry marzipan or cranberry almond paste cake today. And here you see the finished cake. I actually baked it for 50 minutes. It's still warm and of course I have to get it out of the mold. So the cake has cooled down. I made some Placing uh, powdered sugar with water and I'm now pouring it on the cake before I serve it. I think it gives it a nice touch. And also I like to add a little bit of cranberries on top of the glaze. So 
So I'm ready to taste my almond cranberry cake. And here we take a nice slice. Mmm, very good. Excellent. I like it a lot. Hopefully you also enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays to all of you and hope to see you another day. Take care. School.